Hey guys, so this will be an unboxing of the Google Pixel 2 XL. Picture of the device, Pixel 2 XL in the front with the Google logo. On this side is the picture of the device, nice profile. Google Assistant built in, Assistant, and I can't read that, but there you go. In the back, hashtag Team Pixel. Anyway, enough of all that. Let's see, I think we do have some tape here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. No longer need a knife. We are greeted with a device. Look at that. Wow. Brand new in the plastic. Turn on, put that to the side, and let's see what else comes in the box. We get, yay, welcome to Team Pixel. Nice. In the back doesn't say anything. So you got some tape here. Here we have the SIM ejection tool. And inside, we have some books and stuff. You can read that if you want. And here we get this little adapter, USB type C to your big USB here on this end. And in here, let's see what else. Aha, you get your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter. Since unfortunately this phone does not have a headphone jack, SMH charging cable, USB type C on both ends. And in here, we get the charging brick. Here's the specs. The font might be too small, but you can try to read that. Pause the video. Move this out of the way. And this is the device. And of course, I have to take the plastic off. Whew, love that feeling. First impressions with the device in hand. The back definitely has this like rubberized texture feeling. They definitely put a coating back here. Now this is a metal build. However, it kind of doesn't feel like metal because of that coating, but it feels good to the touch. It almost feels like a soft touch material they put here. It feels nice. I do like that. And the top portion here is glass. And looking at the phone right now, you can actually see the curved edges of the screen. They're actually very prominent. You can clearly see that the screen is curved. Wow, looks nice. Looks nice. I like it. Up front, you have a six inch P OLED display, 2880 by 1440p resolution, front facing speakers. Thank God. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Your front facing camera. On this side of the device, you have your SIM tray. On this side of the device, your power switch and your volume rocker. On the back of the device, fingerprint scanner correctly placed your camera and flash. On the bottom of the phone is your USB type C. No headphone jack to be found. SMH on top, you have your mic. And I think that's pretty much it. Went with the black model. All black everything, murdered out, looks very good. I almost got the Panda one, but decided to go the safer route and went with the all black. I'm gonna start the back cave, that is my Wi-Fi. Type in my password real quick. Installing transfer tool, let the phone do its thing right now. Copy your data or set up as new, set up as new. Okay, skip all this, just wanna get into the phone. Next, all right, now let's play with the fingerprint scanner right now. See how fast it is? And there you go, tapping it a few times. And wow, that was really quick. Add another one, why not? This time, add this finger. Just added my second finger, nice. That was fast, next. No thanks to that. Adding finishing touches. And we are in! Now check out this live wallpaper right here. It looks really nice on this phone. Look at the waves crashing in. Love that detail. Very nice. Let me adjust the screen time out real fast. 30 seconds, put that to 10 minutes, why not? And anything else here? No, vivid colors. Yes, I do like vivid colors, we'll leave it as is. And out of the box, it does come with Android Oreo 8.0.0, as you'd expect from a Pixel device. But yeah, the curved screen here caught me a little bit off guard. I didn't expect it to look this curved, but in person, you can really see the curve on this phone. Looks nice. Let's compare it to the Galaxy Note 8, the curve on the Pixel 2 is even more prominent than the Note. Looks nice, I like it, I like it. In a way, here's a quick size comparison of these two. Pixel 2 on the right, Note 8 on the left. 
the Note 8's the larger device overall by a little bit. Here it is against the OnePlus 5. Pixel 2 XL, a little bit taller, a little bit thicker also. Here it is against the LG V30. Pixel 2 a little bit taller, about the same width, about the same thickness actually, comparing to fronts. Both have the always on display now, very nice. And comparing it to the Pixel from last year, both are the XL model. See if they've shrunken the glass portion in the back. Looks a little bit better this year in my opinion. Fingerprint scanners correctly placed. Pixel 2 XL, a little bit bigger overall, but not by much. Thickness, you can compare the thickness right there. Now the Pixel, the original Pixel, did have a wedge design. So it's a little bit thicker on top than it is on the bottom. Comparing the bezels, much smaller bezels on the Pixel 2 XL. Although there's still a little bit of bezel, but much better than last year's. You don't have that chin anymore. Nice move. Very nice. And compare it to the best Nexus ever made, Nexus 6P. I love this phone, actually. The front firing speakers on this thing, love that. Nexus 6P a little bit taller. Pixel 2 XL is probably a little bit thicker by just a little bit. Although Nexus 6P does have that camera hump on top. The visor, right? That's what they used to call that back in the day when this phone came out in 2015. Anyway, there you go. All right, so hit me up in the comments and let me know what you want me to do with this device. Camera comparisons, speed tests versus what phone, etc. Pixel 2 XL. Can't wait to play around with it. Very nice. Thanks for watching. Peace out.